Vitamin E and the, the dangers of using synthetic version of vitamin E. Well, I mean, most vitamin E, is, as you may have heard already, is made out of turpentine. Now think about that one. And when we talk about vitamin E, study after study on the natural form of vitamin E showed it's much better than anticoagulants. So the Lipitor's, that you're out there in the market uh, being told to take to reduce uh, problems with cholesterol readings and are not as effective as whole food varieties of vitamin E. Now think about that. And I've seen, matter of fact, I must have seen 25, 30 studies on this over the, over the years, and not one study didn't uh, refer to what I just referred to. But on the other hand, you know, you had studies that were done on the National Research Council of Canada that showed that the bioavailability of the chemical forms of vitamin E were non-existent practically, where the, the proper forms uh, were picked up by the body and acted as an anticoagulant, and the chemical forms that were told not to take during pregnancy because a woman could abort the child. Now think about this. And if these are major institutions. I mean, these are the leading institutions in some countries we're talking about here, and the leading journals reporting this. Why then don't we go from one step to another step? Why don't we say, hey, if this is a, a profound study, let's research it more if necessary, although one profound study by a, a legitimate organization should be adapted uh, if, if we may lose babies, if we may have more cardiovascular disease by taking uh, synthetic forms of vitamin E, if we can have more strokes by taking synthetic forms of vitamin E, we should get it off the market. And we should be saying to people, take whole food varieties, or better yet, eat green vegetables. That's where we discovered vitamin E. When they discovered it back, you know, 60 years ago, it was in green vegetables that they found vitamin E. And then they needed to make money on it, so of course that was how they started. And things like olives and spinach and asparagus and, and leafy green vegetables, this is what has it in, in it. Lots of the oils have it, and every green sprout has it in it. 